Right, hello there. So today I'm going to explain to you how to use the Nespresso Virtuo coffee machine, how it makes the best coffee ever. And I'm going to show you some of the different options for the coffee, but then I'm going to show you how you can save lots and lots of money by uh, this hack that lets you reuse your coffee pods over and over again. So first of all, let's just have a quick look at the different options for the coffee. So this one here, this is um, Intenso, and it's a 230 millimeter, milliliter cup. Okay, it's really important that you read this bit on the side where it says the volume that's gonna come out. So these are all um, 230 milliliter. And those capsules, cost about a pound each and the um, you can tell because they're significantly deeper okay so over here I've got the Furtado and that's 150 milli milliliter and then getting smaller here this one is only 80 milliliter it's a double espresso and then finally down to um, 40 milliliter so the 40 milliliter if you look at the capsule size it's pretty small so these capsules are much much slimmer if you compare the two okay so in order to get a really good cup of coffee my my best tip is that you first of all boil your kettle I think that warming the cup is a really good idea. Okay, so my kettle is boiled, and the first thing I usually do is I warm up my cup. I find it really um, disappointing to have a, a beautiful tasting coffee that's not hot enough. So I heat my cup, swirl it around, and get rid of that. Now over to the coffee machine. So what I'm going to show you here is I'm going to use one of these so this is the, the deeper, larger, 230 um, milliliter. So you pop that capsule in, press the button, and that pop you heard is the spikes bursting the holes in the cap. So now we can press the button, and you'll hear that with, the, uh, with this machine, it spins the capsule, so the capsule has hot water put in through a, a hole at the top and then it will spin the capsule round like a washing machine spins around to um, to dry the, the washing so when the coffee comes out you get this wonderful foam on the top it is undoubtedly one of the best cups of coffee that I've had but my point is that uh, I quite like these larger capsules I quite like to have a proper size mug of coffee and for me this works really really well. So um, we're going to let this uh, do its business, you can hear the noise it makes and then in a minute I'm going to teach you how to save money so rather than spending a pound on these I'm going to show you how you can bring your cup of coffee down cost down to about 10p. So. You can hear the machine is making a lot of noise now, that capsule is spinning around. It's gonna it's gonna keep spinning for a moment. You can hear the noise change as the water stops going into it. Okay, and that's done. Now, that capsule that's finished will now go into the, the bin at the back of the machine. So it's just slid down into the back. Well, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that capsule out and I'm gonna teach you how to reuse that capsule. Okay, so I've taken the, the used coffee capsule out of the back of the machine. It might still be hot, but this is what you do. I've got myself a craft knife and very carefully I'm going to run that craft knife 
around the inside and I'm just trimming that foil off. Now obviously what we're going to find inside of there is the used coffee granules. So take care not to um, cut your fingers. I'm just peeling off that last bit of the foil there. And you can see that this is what the machine does. It makes, it packs it with coffee, but I found that not to push it in too tight. So there's all the coffee granules in there. I'm just gonna put those in the bin, and then I'm gonna wash it out and show you the next step. Okay, so this is the capsule that's now washed out and cleaned, and the, the foil lining has been cut off. Now it's really important that we keep this barcode and this rim. That barcode tells the machine how much hot water to put through the capsule. Right, so I've now got another one, okay? And this time, I've got to remove this fat rolled over rim that's on here. The best way to do that is with a pair of kitchen scissors and just really carefully, while well, keeping the, the barcode edge, just keep snipping off that thick rolled over section. So the way that the hack works is that you have to fool the machine to thinking it's got an original Nespresso capsule. So now I've got two capsules. One will fit inside the other, and a perfect fit. And you see, if you can line up the grooves, then they fit together really well. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take a little egg cup. So here I've got an egg cup. I'm just gonna stand my the one where I cut the rim in the egg cup. Now, okay, so I've tried different coffees, but I find the stronger ones suit me. So this is a hot lava java, a Taylor's of Harrogate coffee, and it's strength six. I find it comes out really well also with strength four. So what I'm now gonna do is I'm going to tip the coffee into that capsule that I've trimmed the edge on. I'm not gonna pack it in, but I am gonna put it in there so that it's level. All I need to do now is just flatten that down. Now the next thing we need to do is you're gonna need a standard size tin and we need some silver foil. So I tend to pre-make these. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the tin onto the um, top of the foil and then I'm using a Sharpie to mark on. So that's about the right size of foil. And now cut this out. Now I have found that the thicker the foil quality, the better. If you use a foil which is super thin, it's um, sometimes a little bit too weak for the machine as it stabs in. So you can cut these, you can have these done in advance. So I've now got this down to the fact that I can make a cup of coffee in um, the time it takes for the uh, to warm up a mug full of water in the kettle, I'm done. So I've got my, my foil circle. I put my foil circle over my piece of um, my aluminium reused coffee pod and pinch around the edge. So pinch it around so it's sealed, and then you take the one which is, has not been trimmed, put it in, make sure the grooves line up. I tend to turn it over, push that in place, and that's it. I store those next to my coffee machine, ready for the next cup of coffee. So to use it, you pop it in the machine, push the machine down, Use your, do your usual warming up of the mug. And press the button. And the machine has identified that it's an original, genuine uh, Nespresso coffee pod. And let's see if we get that same great foam texture on the coffee. So this is the best hack we've found. And whilst that's making the coffee, I want to tell you about this. So this is this is a device I bought off of eBay. It costs 20 pounds and it says that you can make coffee in your 
Nespresso machine in this, but don't waste your money, it simply doesn't work. I found that it's a, a wonderfully machined, beautiful look, looking piece of um, engineering. It just doesn't work, forget it. Right, so how's my coffee looking compared to the original? Well, I've got the same great foam, I've got the, uh, the wonderful wonderful coffee taste because I use a good quality coffee and for 10p, 10 pence per cup rather than about a pound. So that's it guys, all you need to do is go out, make sure you buy yourself one box of the, the good size pods, the ones which are, let me say, tell you again, you need the ones which are 230ml I find is best. Okay, my wife loves these caramel cookie ones, they're wonderful. And then you can reuse those over and over again, and it's great for your wallet and it's great for the planet.